As we come into this part of our service, this is a special time where we become one with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I invite you now to put away anything that is distracting to you and join me in these special prayers. Oh Lord, as we come together to continue to pray for your guidance with the coronavirus, let us be the light that leads the world to you. God, teach us to be good role models to the people around us so that when they see you and your love within us, they would want to know you more and more. Grant us the patience to work together with understanding and compassion in our hearts. Let us light the way to your heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. A prayer for our clergy. Lord God, in this time of extreme difficulties, we ask your guidance and wisdom be upon all clergy, regardless of their religious affiliation. May they bring scriptures and prayers of home to those who are suffering, the sick, the poor, the dying, and those who are feeling helpless. May the words bring comfort and peace, and may they guide lost sinners to you. Be with them as they bring their prayers and petitions unto you. Safeguard and protect them as they go about their duties daily. And thank you for the support of their loved ones, and may they too be safe. Grant them at the end of each day rest and peaceful sleep. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are facing times of uncertainty, and for many this brings anxiety, depression, and all-consuming fear. These emotions can lead to violence, neglect, and suicidal thoughts. We come before you humbly asking that you would be with those who are in unsafe situations right now by their own hand or at the hand of others. We ask that you would release the abuses from alcohol, the drugs, the depression, the evils of their hearts, whatever influences their behavior. Father, we ask that you would free them of this. We ask that you would resort and restore unity in their homes and make these homes that worship and glorify you rather than grieve you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As, as we pray for our leaders, Lord, we ask your continued protection and guidance for those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions Thank you for those who assist them to carry out the works and plans as directed to assist our community in these times of uncertainty. May they seek your guidance in all situations. Lord God, day by day we are seeing that Satan never sleeps. He is intent on bringing evil to our lives. We ask and pray for you to continue to protect those who have dedicated their lives to keep us safe. We ask, Lord, that you bless and protect the police services, regiment, fire services, ambulance service, custom services. Keep them virus free and protect them from dangers both seen and unseen. Bless their families who unselfishly have taken drastic changes to change their family lifestyles. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our education, we pray for our school principals, our teachers, our support staff, and our young people, and all who may in any, be in any kind of distress or need. We ask that you provide for their needs, grant them patience, love, and security in these times of uncertainty. We ask that normalcy be returned soon to ensure the ongoing education and care of our children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we pray for our doctors, nurses, and caregivers in hospitals, nursing homes, and private homes. Strengthen them with your spirit and arm them with hearts of love, compassion, sympathy, and resilience towards all 
who are caring for the sick, that through their work, many will be restored to health. Thank you for the sacrifices they are making daily on our behalf. And we ask that you continue to protect their families and loved ones whom they have been away from for so many long hours, and in some cases, days, as they keep themselves isolated. Thank you for the unwavering support of their loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And now, merciful God, we entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength. Most merciful Father, as we remember our patron saint, St. John, St. Monica, and her son, St. Augustine, we ask that you bring comfort to the many families who have lost loved ones at this time, be it, to, be it to the ongoing illness or the virus. May the hearts be at peace, knowing that the loved ones are at peace and safe in your arms. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>